All right, should I sell my home in 2023? That is the question. In this video, I'm going to jump into it. I'm going to tell you the pros, the cons, the questions you should be asking yourself if you're thinking about selling your home in 2023. All right. Matthew Mortgage Guy, residential mortgage broker licensed across the country. I'm going to give you an unbiased view of whether or not you should sell your home because I don't sell homes. I'm just a mortgage broker, right? I'm just an unbiased third party who happens to own some real estate, love real estate. And so I'm going to tell you some of the things that are working for you and working against you in 2023 if you're considering selling your home. So if you want to connect with me and my team, greatmortgagebroker.com. If you want to connect with a great agent, I promise you homeandmoney.com is going to vet them. So homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt that connects you with a local realtor that can give you some more input. If you want to talk about what your home's going to sell for, how much you're going to net, all that good stuff, right? I think one of the questions you want to ask yourself um, among others is where are you going, right? And I think a lot of times um, people don't do enough of the work up front to kind of figure out the whole game plan. And what I mean by that is, you know, you might get ahead of yourself. I'm guilty of this as well. You walk through a new build in this neighborhood and you're like, I love this house. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to sell my house. I'm going to make about 200 grand. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to buy it. I love the neighborhood. It's a brand new house. Nobody's even used that toilet. I'm going to be the first one to take a number two in that toilet. And you get excited about it, right? Um, but then when you go and do the analysis, you're like, oh, I've got some fees. I've got this. I, I'm selling at this, maybe not that. I'm only going to get 140,000 net from selling my house. And then I didn't realize that when I buy forward and there's a five and a half percent rate attached to this higher price point and this down payment, holy moly, my, my mortgage is going to double, right? Have all that kind of dialed in beforehand. That's why I really think connecting with a mortgage broker first and getting the numbers right is the way to do it. Again, greatmortgagebroker.com. Never too many times to plug that, right? So you got to figure out where you're going, put together some type of plan. The other thing to consider is your price point. Not even necessarily what you're buying. Um, if you're buying, maybe you're selling and you're going to rent somewhere. You're you're, you're selling and you're going to move into an in-law quarters with your kids. I don't know the case, but your price point matters because across the country, markets are different. And in the same market, within that, there are segments that have to do with price point. I'll give an example. In the market I'm in in Northern California, uh, the median price is roughly 500000 If you buy something below 500000 or if you were the seller, of said homes sub 500,000, you would be able to sell it in under 30 days. I have no doubt. If it shows well, if it's priced good, if you've got a good agent, homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt, you will have no problem selling a home that's less than 500 grand. You go into the you know move up market or a little bit more expensive homes, 500 to a million, it might take six weeks to sell that home. You know, again, depending on how well it shows, depending on the neighborhood, depending on, on the price, right? If your realtor prices it right. Um, but, you know, a $900,000 house might have trouble selling in this current market. When you go above a million dollars, I can tell you with absolute certainty, those homes are sitting on the market for a hundred plus days. People are way off on what they think they can get for those homes. And I'll tell you a little bit of why. And I've done this analysis for many agent friends. You list a home at 1.7 because one right down the street sold in March of 2022 for 1.74, whatever that number is, right? And you think to yourself, we're as big as that house. We're as nice as that house. We're on the same street. List it for 175. Why not? And why is nobody coming to buy this house? And I'll tell you the exact reason. And it's really simple. The interest rate increase over the last year of let's just call it roughly 3%. When you're borrowing over a million dollars, 
which a lot of people in that circumstance, if they're buying for 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, even with a large 20%, 25% down payment, are borrowing over a million dollars, 3% of interest rate is a pretty big effect on that mortgage rate, right? Quick math, 3%. On a, on a million is a $30,000 difference um, over the course of a year. So we're talking $2,500 a month in payment, you know, and as the mortgage balance goes up, that could be even more, right? So somebody who is able to, willing and able to pay $8,000 a month or $10,000 a month on a mortgage payment, when you start tacking on $2,500 to $3,000 to that payment, because the cost of debt, the mortgage rates went up, not as many interested buyers, not as many willing and not as many able buyers, right? So those homes are sitting for longer Then they're realizing, all right, to get a, that buyer to a comfortable mortgage payment, we might have to sell this house for 1.5, 1.45. So depending on the price point, you're going to have to be realistic about how quick you can sell, right? Another question to ask yourself, and I really, really want you to lean into this one, can you keep it? Do you need to sell it? For some people, I'm selling here. I'm putting 50% down on my forever home in Tennessee. And um, I don't have any money in the bank besides what I'm going to get from selling my house. I get it. In that circumstance, you need to sell. You need the equity from that house to go buy the next one. But for some people, if you run some numbers and again, talk to a mortgage broker in advance, get a really good you know, feel for what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, what your goals are, maybe, just maybe, and I'm hoping for you because it's really neat, you can keep that house. You can buy the next one, 5% down, 10% down, whatever it is. And that last one turns into a rental. I know a ton of people who started on their investing journey by leaving their primary residence, buying a new one, and turning that into a rental. And I just looked at the stat uh, from 91 to 2023, that 32 year span, home prices were up 288%. I know things have gotten more expensive. I know you have to account for inflation, but if you bought a house for 300 grand and you moved out of it and you rented it and you got a new primary, you could let the tenants pay that mortgage. And even if it broke even, over a 30 year period, if the tenants paid the mortgage and paid it off over a 30 year mortgage, and at the end, you were left with a property worth a million dollars that you didn't pay for, you'd be doing better than if you sold that thing, cashed out the 80,000 bucks in equity, took a nice trip to, you know, Costa Rica, put a big down payment on the newest Range Rover, whatever you did with that money is probably better sitting in that long-term appreciating asset of real estate. Ask yourself the question, do some analysis before you go out there and get emotional about your sale, but there is very little inventory across the US. So if you are a seller, I think in most markets, you're going to be all right. Um, if you're not dealing in the jumbo market, if you're dealing with something like a first time home buyer is gonna buy, I really, um, think that you, you won't have trouble selling. You got to be realistic. You got to work with a great agent who is going to price it correctly. Um, and so it, it, it makes sense to sell if you need to. Ask yourself if you can keep it. Ask yourself the question of where am I going? What are my goals? And put some strategy behind it. And then again, think about what price point you're in, how long it's going to take to sell and all those other things. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you want to connect me and my team, again, greatmortgagebroker.com. If you want to talk to an agent who's been fully vetted and they're guaranteed to be responsive, knowledgeable, and great, homeandmoney.com forward slash Matt. Check out my channel. I've got other stuff having to do with mortgage, real estate, and all that. 700 plus videos. Check them out here, here, and maybe here. This one you might like.